in this video as part of instance based learning we will study locally weighted regression so if you see this there are three words in this uh, there are three words uh, in this one is locally another one is weighted and the third one is regression let us understand these three words clearly when we say locally we are going to consider only some training examples near to query point the second one weighted means we are going to use uh, some multiplication uh, factor which is related to the distance some uh, some we are going to multiply by some function of the distance between the query point and the nearby points the third one is regression a regression is an approximation fitting an approximation function that is called a regression so locally weighted regression uses nearby weighted training examples or you can say nearby distance weighted training examples to form local approximation to f for example we might approximate the target function in the neighborhood surrounding xq using a linear function a quadratic function a multi layer neural network or some other functional form so basically we have to construct an approximation function here using uh, the distance between the query point and other uh, training examples and we will consider only uh, the nearby uh, training examples so the idea is to form an approximation training function that's why we say the function may be a linear function a quadratic function or a multi layer neural network or some other uh, functional form now once we find the function or approximation function and uh, we will uh, put the value of xq in that function and we'll get some approximate uh, target value that is the idea in this particular uh, topic that is locally weighted regression given given a new query instance xq the general approach in locally weighted regression is to construct an approximation function f cap that fits the training examples in the neighborhood surrounding xq and this approximation is then used to calculate the value at f cap of xq which is output as the estimated target value for the query instance as i already told you now this function is related to only the particular query point if the query point changes the function will also change so the description of f cap will then be deleted because a different local approximation will be calculated for each distinct query instance now more complex functional forms are not often used because uh, one uh, the cost of fitting more complex functions for each query instance is prohibitively high we are talking about computational complexity and two uh, these simple approximations model the target function quite well over a sufficiently small sub region of the instance space but the second point says that the approximation is uh, quite well with the, uh, with these uh, simple functions so why to go for complex functions now we will come to uh, a specific uh, locally weighted uh, uh, regression function that function is a linear uh, function we will call it as locally weighted linear regression method in this f is approximated near xq using a linear function of the form f cap of x is equal to w0 plus w1 into a1 of x plus w2 into a2 of x plus and so on plus w n into a n of x so this is the function which we have to uh, construct 
And if you want to construct this function, we need these W values. And as you can see, all the powers in these variables are 1. And that is how it is a linear function. So now we need these W values. Now how to find these W values? Now the W values can be found by using some kind of iteration. That is W2 is equal to some W1 plus delta W1. Right? The new uh, W is equal to the old W plus some, uh, some, some delta W. Now how to find this delta W? The delta W can be found by using this expression. Actually, these all expressions, you know, they are related to gradient descent algorithm. So, delta Wj can be for, delta Wj uh, is equal to eta, which is called a learning rate, into the sigma, x is an element of capital D, and D is the set of training examples, f of x minus the, uh, the approximation function, f cap of x into a j of x. Using this, we can find uh, this W. And please my understand this is an iterative process. So, and these W's have to be found uh, till the time, you know, the error is getting uh, minimized. We have something called uh, minimum mean square error concept. Minimum mean square error uh, concept. Till the minimum uh, mean square error is achieved, uh, this W will be, uh, W change will be taking place. So the minimum, uh, mean, the mean square error value is this, 1 by 2 uh, sigma x is an element of capital D, f of x minus f cap of x, the whole square. This error has to become uh, minimum. So the process is like this, you may start with some, uh, some w values and that will give you some uh, approximation function. That approximation function uh, will be checked with this, the error is not minimum. Now, the same function will be used to find some delta w, right? And this new w value we will put into this, we will get the new function here. And again, we will check for the error, error is still not minimized. Again, we will find uh, some changes in w. Again, we will go to the function and this process will be uh, repeated. That is how it will be taking place. Now, uh, what we saw here is, is a kind of global method. By, 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 by global method, it is meant that all the training examples are used here. You find capital D, all the training examples are used here. But we are talking about, you know, local. So we are going to use, as per this particular to per topic, we are going to use, uh, or we have, we will use only some, uh, uh, some examples which are near to, some examples which are near to the query point. So those errors we will write, the, which are the errors which are near to the query point, we will write it as uh, e, e of q. So we have different kind of expressions for this uh, uh, mean square error. Now first of all, if you note here, uh, we are not using all the training examples, we are using only uh, nearby examples. That is how it has become local, right? So e1 of xq is equal to 1 by 2, uh, x is an element of k, nearest neighbors of xq, f of x minus f cap of x the whole squared. The only difference between this expression and uh, this expression is uh, this is global and this is uh, local. We are using only this many, uh, this uh, less number of, you know, uh, uh, training examples in this. Not all the training examples, they are using lesser number of training examples. Now, we will use another concept is, we will use all the training examples but we will apply some um, uh, discounting function. We will apply some discounting function. The function, uh, function of the distance, discounting function, function of the distance. That is E2 of xq is equal to 1 by 2 uh, sigma x is an element of capital D, f of x minus f of x cap the whole square uh, into k as a k of d of xq comma x some function of the distance between the query point and the nearby examples we are using. Not nearby examples, we are going to use in this case all the examples. Now, another way of telling is E3 of xq. Uh, this is obtained by combining these two uh, concepts of the, the, 
the first concept is we are going to use only uh, nearest neighbors. The second one is we are going to apply uh, some um, uh, discounted uh, function, discounting function. So, E3 of XQ is equal to 1 by 2, X is an element of, uh, not capital D, X is an element of K nearest neighbors of XQ, F of X minus F cap of X the whole squared into, again we are using distance function also here, K into D of XQ comma X, where X is part of not all the D, it is part of only K nearest neighbors. Now, this is going to be the best suitable uh, for this particular topic that is uh, uh, locally weighted linear regression. Uh, this is only going, this is more suitable for us, right. It is local and it is also uh, getting uh, weighted. Now, corresponding to this particular uh, mean square error, uh, this delta WOG is equal to eta into uh, sigma x is an element of k nearest neighbors of xq uh, k of d x comma xq comma x f of x minus f cap of x into a j of x only thing we you compare this expression with this expression only the distance factor uh, is getting uh, multiplied and we have only not all the training example we have only uh, nearest training examples I hope uh, this topic that is uh, uh, locally weighted uh, regression and as a special case locally weighted uh, linear regression these topics are clear to you. Uh, if you if it is clear and if you like it please give a like for this. Thank you.